Hi guys, welcome back to today's workout. Today we're gonna to be doing a couch workout. This workout can be done in the comfort of your own couch. You can do this also on any chair in your house. If you work a desk job, you can do this on your desk um, using your chair. Or if you're at a gym, you can do this on a bench. So anywhere that works for you, you can do this workout. It's very easy to do. All you need is the chair and your body, some workout clothes, and you're ready to go. So today I'm gonna to be showing you the exercise we're gonna be doing, and then I'm gonna do one whole circuit with you guys. So let's get started. So today's workout, we're gonna be doing five exercises. Each exercise is going to be done for 30 seconds. I'm going to be doing one circuit with you guys, and then I recommend doing three circuits if you want a five, 10 minute workout. If you don't have time, you can always just do one circuit to get your body moving. Uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating all exercises on a chair, but like I said, you can do it on any couch, any um, bench, doesn't matter if you're outside. Uh, today we're going to be doing two upper body exercises, two lower body exercises, followed by one ab exercise. I'm going to start off by demonstrating the exercises for you. The first one we're starting off with is an incline push-up for the chest and the upper body. To start off, first you're going to put your hands under your shoulders. If you have a chair, put them on the edge of the chair. Second, you're going to step back with your feet. Third, you're going to look straight ahead. Fourth, bend your elbows. Five, exhale, squeeze your stomach. Go back down, inhale, and then exhale. You wanna to try to hold your stomach the whole time, but if that's hard, then I recommend squeezing at the end to start building the habit. Second exercise we're going to be doing today is chair taps. These are really good for working your shoulders and your arms. First, you're going to start off on the floor in front of the couch or the chair. Second, you're going to put your hands under your shoulders. Third, you're going to go up in a high plank position. Fourth, you're going to touch with one hand, balancing on one hand. Then you're going to put the other hand down, balance on the other hand. For this one, to squeeze your core, you'll be better balanced. your lower body. You're going to start off with one foot forward. Second foot's going to go back on the chair. You're going to step a little bit forward so when you hinge down your leg doesn't bend over your knees. So first you're going to put your feet here, feet here. Second you're going to sit down. Third you're going to come up, exhale. So go down, inhale, come up, exhale. And again, just check your foot. You don't want it to go over your knee so you don't get any pain in your knees. Then we're going to do the same thing with the other leg. Fourth exercise we're gonna be doing today is glute bridges. For this, you're gonna start off with your upper back and your shoulders on the chair. So first, have your upper back, shoulders on the chair. Second, have your feet under your knees, shoulder width apart. Third, you're going to keep your head up, put your hands over your chest. Fourth, you're going to bring your hips down, then bring them up as high as you can. Sixth, squeeze your stomach, squeeze your glutes, and exhale. The way that you squeeze is you bring your ribs and hips together. So it looks like this, inhale, exhale. For this, you're going to go on the edge of your chair, so sit as far close to the edge as you can. Second, put your hands on the chair. Third, you're going to lean back, lift your feet up. Fourth, you're going to bring your knees in. Then fifth, extend your legs out, exhale. That's it for today's exercises. Now I'm going to be showing you, now I'm going to be doing the exercises with you guys for 30 seconds each.
workout. Let me know if it got your heart rate up, if it got you to sweat just like it did for me. And where did you feel it most? For me, I felt it in my quads right after I finished. They were shaking. Let me know where you felt it the most. I'll see you guys next time for another video. Next workout, I'm going to be doing outdoors to take advantage of this nice weather. Uh, if you want to check out some of our day-to-day -day life, our food, training our clients, traveling back and forth, check out our Instagram at Crazy Genetics. You can see all our stories that we post. Uh, for more workouts, check out this YouTube channel. We're going to keep posting at-home workouts for you guys to enjoy. See you next time.